temperature. If temperature is increased, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. If you increase the temperature, the equilibrium will shift in an endothermic direction. What that does is use up the excess kinetic energy and convert it into potential. Or, you're going to shift away from whatever side has heat on it. And that will absorb that excess energy and store it. If the temperature is decreased, the, re the equilibrium will shift in the exothermic direction. This will release potential energy to create more kinetic energy to make up for the kinetic energy you removed. Because remember, temperature is a measure of kinetic energy. Or, the exothermic direction is towards the side that has heat on it. For example, in this reaction, if you increase temperature, the equilibrium will shift in the endothermic direction to remove that excess temperature. The equilibrium will shift away from the side that has heat on it. Increase the heat, it's going to move away from heat to use it up. As a result of shifting in this direction, whatever you shift away from gets used up, and whatever you shift towards, you make more of. So the concentration of NH3 will go down because the heat's going down, and the resulting effect on the concentration of H2 will go up because you're shifting towards it. Whatever you shift towards, you're making more of by using up whatever you're shifting away from. For this reaction, if you decrease the temperature, the equilibrium will shift towards heat to bring the temperature back up again. Shifting towards heat, the exothermic direction. The resulting effect on the concentration of NH3, if you're shifting towards NH3, this stuff is getting used up and making more of that stuff. Therefore, the concentration of NH3 will increase as your reactants are used up. So Le Chatelier's principle is you apply a stress, it creates a shift, which creates a change in concentration. Now pressure only affects gases. If you increase the pressure, the stress reliever is to bring that pressure back down. But since the container is sealed, the pressure can't come down by letting gas out. It's got to make do with what it has there. So if the pressure is increased, the equilibrium will shift toward the side that has fewer moles of gas on it. Because the more gas you have, the more pressure it exerts, and the less gas you have, the less pressure it exerts. If the pressure is decreased, you can bring that pressure back up by shifting to the side that has more moles of gas on it. For example, on this side of the reaction, we have 1 plus 3 is 4 moles of gas. On the other side of the reaction, we only have 2 moles of gas. 4 moles is going to exert twice as much pressure as 2 moles will. Therefore, if you increase the pressure, you're going to shift it in a direction that brings the pressure back down, less gas. As a result, you're going to use up your reactants and make more products. NH3 will go up, H2 will go down, as will N2. You're going to use up your moles of gas to make fewer moles of gas. Again, this side has 1 plus 3 is 4 moles of gas. This side has 2 moles of gas. If you decrease the pressure, the equilibrium is going to bring that pressure back up again by shifting to the side that has more gas on it. More gas, more pressure, we reverse the stress. Reverse shift. As a result, you're going to use up whatever you're shifting away from and make more of whatever you're shifting towards. You're going to use up your lesser amount of gas to make more of the more amount of gas, if that makes sense. Stress, shift, change in concentration. And those three steps are used for every single Le Chatelier's principle situation. Now if the number of moles of gas are equal on both sides, then the equilibrium can't do anything and it has to live with that stress. For example, if we have H2 plus I2 and they're both gases, and they form an equilibrium with 2HI, which is also a gas. This side of the equilibrium has 1 plus 1 is 2 moles of gas. This side also has 2 moles of gas. If you increase or decrease the pressure, where's the equilibrium going to go? It doesn't have a way to relieve the extra pressure or bring up the lower pressure. 
Therefore, the equilibrium just has to suffer in silence. But if an equilibrium can shift, then it must shift. Here's how you can make an equilibrium do what you want it to do. If you want to make more product, you want to shift in the direction that makes more product. You can do this by adding reactant, removing a product, or changing the temperature and pressure to make it shift in that direction. If you want to make more reactant, you want it to shift towards the reactant side. What will do this? Remove a reactant. It will shift to make more. Add a product. It will shift away from product to use it up. Or change the temperature and pressure in such a way that it makes the equilibrium go in reverse. What are three things we can do to make an increase in AgCl? Well, if you want to make more reactant, you have to shift the equilibrium in that direction. What will make the equilibrium shift in that direction? We could add Ag plus 1. That will force the equilibrium to use up the excess Ag plus 1 by shifting away from it. We could also add Cl minus 1. That will force the equilibrium to shift in that direction as well. Or we could decrease the temperature. That will force the equilibrium to shift toward the side with heat. Those are things you can do that will result in an increase in silver chloride. Now, this is called the common ion effect. You can't just simply get a container of silver ions or chloride ions. The way you increase the amount of silver is to add a silver compound, like silver nitrate. The way you can add extra chloride ions is by adding a compound that has chloride ions, like sodium chloride. That's called the common ion effect. If I add silver nitrate, what I'm doing is I'm adding silver ions to this reaction. Nitrate would just be a spectator ion and not have anything to do with it. If I added sodium chloride solution, that would be the same as adding excess chloride ions. Sodium ion would just be a spectator ion. 